Hello and welcome back. This is Steve Bucks Coins and I have some, some coins here from the German States from the 1921. Uh, so this was around about the period when uh, the coins themselves were uh, we were going uh, and banknotes were going through the depression and the hyperinflation. These were from all three are from 1921 that you see in front of you, and they're all one mark coins. They come from different areas of Germany. Uh, the the German states. This was before Germany became a unified country. This first one, if we can get down. Here we have a one mark coin. On this side we have the one mark itself and also the state name. This is Saxony from 1921. And we have we have the one inside a a, um, uh, a cartouche type, almost like a garland effect. In the name of Saxony around the top, I believe. The state name in, on the top, around the top part of the coin. If we have a look over on the other side, it is. A, you have the year, and then you have like a boat, a, a sailing tray, to, to and this is the lowest mintage. Uh, sorry, this is. The highest mintage coin of the three, and this was had a mintage of five hundred and forty six thousand now i don't know if you've noticed with all three of these if I tap on them and I click and I knock them together do they sound normal like a normal metal coin? They are, they've had to be fooled. What is so different about these coins are that they're made, the material they're made of. They're not metal, they're not aluminium. These are in fact hard paste porcelain or a porcelain uh, coin. This one is a Saxony Saxony and it's the highest mintage one with 546,000. This one's a mark, one mark coin. It's from Kitzengen, and that's K-I-T-Z-I-N-G-E-N. -E it's a one mark coin from 1921. They have the state, the value, and a castellated tower on this side of the coin. And on this one, we have a bunch of grapes. This porcelain coin had a mintage of just 24,000 and is the lowest minted of the three coins that I'm showing you. The third coin is this one here. And this one is a Martin Luther coin and it's to celebrate 400 years of his birth. or 400 years collaboration for Martin Luther. On this side we have a portrait of Martin Luther. It is a little bit um, looks as if it's a rust but it's not, it's just the markings on the coin or on the porcelain itself. How this porcelain was made and how it survived I'm not sure. This is Martin Luther's 400 years celebration of, of his collaborations and on the rear of the coin we have the value of one mark, we have a leaf 
and across along with the value and this is the middling coin it's uh, I'm not sure which state it is might be uh, Sax Sax Coburg but I can't be 100% sure I can't I don't have it down in the notes uh, it says Eichel Mark no I don't know if that's one mark but on the back of it you have a leaf you have a, a leaf or it may even be a decoration uh, like a military decoration with with a cross and the value. The mintage for this Martin Luther 1921 coin is 154,000. So this coin is 154,000. Let me just get up so we can get to see there. So the one with the grapes on it, it has a is the lowest of the mintage of only 224,000. And this one here with the sailboat on it. As a mintage of is the highest mintage one of five hundred and forty six thousand, so they're all fairly low uh, low mintage coins. They're made of an unusual material, which is the porcelain. What do you think of these coins? Do you want? Would you like to have some porcelain coins in your coin in your set? I know I do. I'm very glad to have them there. If you've enjoyed this video, could you please give me a thumbs up? If you've not yet subscribed, could you please think about doing so? I am looking to improve my subscriber level again this year. To I'm looking for 425 by the end of the year. If you're having a hunt, I hope you've had a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, then I hope you can buy the coins you want for the price you want to pay. And finally, until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be not too far into the distant future from me, thank you for subs uh, thank you for being here, and I'll see you again soon from me. Bye bye. Ta da now.